Gibson Technology was formed um, about 1982 through various different types of work in engineering from designing, manufacturing, developing racing engines to high performance electric drive systems for motorsport. With a racing engine it's an extremely hostile environment because it's revving at very, very high revs, producing very high levels of vibration and also go through a lot of heat cycles from extremely hot to extremely cool conditions. The reason we came to Maxon products was because we needed somebody with the engineering ability to be able to produce a motor to work within that environment for a long period of time and Maxon will certainly be able to deliver on that. I think Maxon product fits in very well with our business because we need um, something that can work within a very difficult environment but also we need to have the engineering support and backup should there be an issue we can react very quickly and Maxon can work with us to react very quickly to overcome any problems and they've done so perfectly during the time we've worked with them. Gibson Technology design um, all of the engine parts in-house ourselves. We manufacture about 75% of all products in-house. With a new engine, from manufacture to build, um, it probably takes about three, three months from start to finish. The maximum products that we use on our engines are all motors which operate the throttle actuation. So all of our engines use technology what we call drive-by-wire, so there's only um, wires and motors operating the throttles and that interfaces back to the engine control systems. I think Maxon as a company have been extremely invaluable. Um, the motors operate the throttles on the engine, so if a motor fails the engine essentially stops. So it's been extremely important to ensure that we've got a very reliable product and we feel with Maxon we know we can rely on that product virtually 100%. Our products are customised by Maxon to suit our requirements. So they've done a lot of development work over the years to ensure that um, the parts have been more durable and um, sustained for a longer period of time. We've built a very good relationship up with uh, technical engineers and whenever we do encounter a problem, we know they're only a phone call away from being able to come out and work with us to resolve any issues. I think engineering over the years, it's been a, a very difficult industry to evolve because I think it's not had the investment that it's needed. But I think now that investment is coming back and I think there's a lot of technology coming back into engineering. I think the future is looking very bright for Gibson Technology. We've got the big LMP2 project that we're working in conjunction with Maxon and also other new projects in the future and certainly Maxon are going to be an integral partner within those projects and we wouldn't choose another company to operate our throttle systems than Maxon Motors.